Alright, gonna work on my wife's Honeywell air purifier today. It uh, vibrates. Here, put your, take your hand down. Probably can't hear it. It's just a low vibration. Um, constantly. And also a high pitch whistle. And it's... Uh, Is it got a fever? Yeah, I guess it does. I already made sure it wasn't because the filters were clogged. So we're going to have to tear into it, see if there's a lot of dirt buildup inside. Um, and also oil the whirl cage fan that's blowing the air out. Alright, first thing I want to do, take this front cover off. Two buttons on the side. Pop. Going to take this filter out. I'm going to take this filter out. It uh, just has a couple clips. Just got to push it down. Pull it out. Tells you not to immerse it in water. So just put a vacuum to the filter. It's reusable. To get this apart, we got a uh, screw there, there, there. That's the star head screws. Alright, so it's a size T10H. So to get to this one down here, you're going to have to have the actual uh, driver. So let's uh, get that. We also got two screws here. Alright, now we should be able to take the top off. Now there's still wires connected to the controls, so let's look at it down through that way. There it is. Lots of dirt in there. Gonna have to clean that out. So I can cut some of these zip ties here. Be careful not to cut any wires. So this little box and all those needles right there for the ionic filter and that's very high and it's very high voltage so you need to make sure it's unplugged and just be careful of those needles because they're sharp. My mini shop back with the small brush adapter. Uh, that allows you to get into these slotted areas. Go ahead and get the filters. Gonna take these two screws out there, Phillips head. And then there's also screws in the front. Alright, now I'm gonna take the top cover off that one, clean it out. This one's got the iron the ion filter in it, so just be aware of that. Let's clean that out. I'm gonna get the motor out. I've got uh, four Phillips head screws down there holding that in. Alright, now we can pull this motor up and out of there and actually clean that all out. Alright, so I'm going to be oiling both sides of this. I need to make sure I get all the dust off the shafts that I can. Alright, now it's time to oil it. I got this uh, fully synthetic oil right here. Um, gonna 
get it down in there and onto that shaft. There we go. And then uh, I'm gonna just spin it. Make sure it gets all the way around and down in there. back and forth so that it kind of pulls that uh, oil down inside it. Alright, now I'm just going to put it back together and see how it runs. Alright, got it all back together. I left uh, this screw out because it's a pain, so don't really need it. Um, let's see how well it runs now. I don't know if you can tell, but still has a slight vibration. And the whistling is gone though. I think cleaning all that dust out of there probably fixed that. And uh, lubricating those bushings probably helped the vibration to go down. But still does vibrate, just not as bad.